This is Nifty Knitting. Hey, buddies, it's Bad Lori, and I finally got that live stream summary that I promised you. I really appreciate those of you who were patiently waiting for it. Unfortunately, there was a glorious thunderstorm last night that knocked out power for like three and a half hours. I didn't get to work on this like I wanted to last night, but it's here now. I do hope that you enjoyed the patch notes updates while you were waiting. And if you didn't get a chance to watch that one yet, I suggest you go check it out after you're done watching the live stream summary. Also, now's a good time to make sure that you are subscribed with your notification on so you do not miss any time I put out a video. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a comment on this video today too, because it really helps me out a lot. I hope you're ready to go over some cool nifty knitting info because that live stream was a lot of fun and had a lot of cool shit to look at. A little fun fact about our new stuff pack about homemade crafts is this whole pack was made from home. Let me tell you, this is a stuff pack worth getting excited about. Um, We've all seen the trailer. Come on <laughs> now. Right. So what are we waiting for? Let's show you how this knitting UI works. Let me show you. Knits, clothing, knit objects. Let's show you clothing. Look at this. They really took the time and gave us all the options. They gave us beanies, they gave us socks, sweaters of scarves, toddler onesies, baby onesies, the forbidden sweater. So basically your knitting skill is going to work like all of your other creative skills in the game. You start out with a little bit of skill creating not so great work and the more and more you do it, the more projects you unlock and the better your projects will come out when you're done making them. Hand knit objects will have a level of quality to them like existing craftables do. Naturally, this new skill comes with a new aspiration. And when you have the max level of the aspiration, you can actually knit the forbidden sweater. You might remember this from the trailer. This is the worst thing you could ever give somebody. They will be itchy forever if they wear it. Don't do this. Um, I'm warning you once. Um, so go into basically what the uh, the aspiration gave you. Um, you can dispel the curse. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't get to show the curse. I will show that on Twitter later because I feel really bad. And I really want you guys to see it. If you're wondering what curse Sim Guru Connor is talking about, that would be the curse of the sweater. I didn't know what it was either, so I had to look it up too. Allegedly, in the knitting world, there is lore that if you begin to knit a sweater for your significant other, that you will either break up before the sweater is finished, or you will break up with that person upon them receiving the sweater. Now, the way that they managed to incorporate this into the game is a little bit of an Easter egg in there for you. You probably can figure it out already from what I just explained. Basically, if you take the time to knit a sweater and give it to your sim significant other, there is a chance that it could spawn a breakup, which personally I think is really cute and exciting and kind of is almost like a throwback to The Sims 3 where random shit used to just happen and it would totally fuck with your storyline and you would just have to deal with it. It also makes me think of like the old curse of the tattoo, which is basically the same thing. If you get a tattoo matching your significant other, you're doomed to break up with them either before the tattoos are finished or at some point after you got your matching tattoos. But let me know in the comments if you've ever heard of anything about those two curses before, if you've ever seen it happen to anybody in real life. Or let me know if you miss the chaotic style of The Sims 3 gameplay because I sure do. Speaking of The Sims 3, you just witnessed this lovely Sim knit the Sims 4 equivalent of gnomes from The Sims 3. Yes, I am aware that we have gnomes in The Sims 4, but this one moves around by itself and it doesn't have to be harvest fest for that to happen. Meet Yarny, my sleep paralysis demon. He comes in object and toy form. Luckily the toy form doesn't move around by itself. Now my buddies, what we are witnessing before our very faces is a sim reminiscing in a rocking chair. I personally don't know what about Yarny inspired her to take a moment and reflect upon her life. Maybe she was just scared into doing it. This wild new animation is available only for our elder sims. I guess they're the only ones with lives worth remembering. A cool thing that might make this interaction worth doing is that you can either get a positive or a negative mood lit at the end of it, depending on what kind of memories your elder sim was remembering, be it positive or negative. Although who's to say what they're even remembering anyway? It's not like the Sims 4 have memories. Oh look, this sim was remembering somebody's happy memories. She'll get a plus one happy boost for the next two hours now. Now listen closely buddies because this is not a drill. There is new stuff for kids to do in this stuff pack. I said new stuff for kids to do in this stuff pack. Look at this girl playing in the rocking chair. She is a child playing in a rocking chair. Plus she's wearing all new cast items, but we'll get into that later. Also, kids are able to knit in this game too. They have full on knitting ability like adults. So basically, if a child develops 
that's enough skill, they could have their own successful Plopsy business even. Right now, we're watching a child be taught how to knit, but you don't have to just teach children how to knit. Your sim can teach anyone with a lower knitting skill how to knit. To start a knitting project is very easy too. All you need to do is have a yarn basket and put it in your inventory. From there, you can click on the yarn basket or yourself or any seat and then decide what you want to knit. Once a project is selected, a few simoleons will be deducted from your sim's household funds and you will begin to work on your new project. Any knitting projects can be stopped and resumed at any time your sim wishes. Your sim can also work on multiple projects at a time. So if your sim wants to knit around the world and knit different things while they're knitting around the world, they are welcome to. Let's move along and take a look at oh the things you can knit. And boy is there a lot of them. We have poops that you can sit on. We have hanging plants of all different heights for all different ceiling heights. We got table plant cozies. We got toys for the kids. We got rugs and all kinds of other new shiz. Let me show you about these new lights coming with the base game patch. Super subtle saucer light. Would you like to talk about this? This is definitely a pretty uh, well-used, well-loved light that I see. But what always happens is you pull it out and you clone it and put more of them. You got to make it small again. Mm -hmm. So we said, well, maybe we could just make it small and that would be better. And it is much better indeed. I cannot wait to start using those new tiny lights. So something else that they added to the game that a lot of people are excited for is the new metal station on the radio. I personally only allow my sims to listen to the retro radio station, but they put a lot of work into this, so I'm gonna show you what it does. Once Listen to Metal has been activated, your sims will now have alternative text on select objects, such as the radio, including affirmations to make the metal louder and questionable decisions to make the metal quieter. As per Sims tradition, EA actually went out and got some metal artists to do simlish covers of their songs. I am personally not familiar with any of the artists mentioned, so if anybody is familiar and has some suggestions, please let me know in the comments what I should listen to. When your sims are listening to the heavy metal station, they also unlock an energized moodlet. Conversely, there is now also a focus radio station that is filled with chill, calming sounds to help your sim relax and focus on whatever they are working on. This station also boasts two separate tracks that were written by two separate Sims audio team members. Let's talk about Plopsy. To list an item on Plopsy, it's really easy. You can just click on the item either in the real world or in your inventory and select the list on Plopsy option. Yes, you will still be able to sell things the old fashioned way, but there is an advantage to putting things on Plopsy. So sure, you could sell this painting right now and get $76 for it. Or you could list it on Plopsy for only $10 and get potentially up to twice as much for it. So for that painting that was originally going to be $76, you could get up to $152 for it now. So now that we've put this poor quality painting up on Plopsy, you can see in the inventory, the item now has a red background to it and that it has some more information in the window. We can see that there's no offers, no buyers, and that this will be up on Plopsy until Sunday. It is important to note that the level of quality on this painting is poor. The level of quality at an item on Plopsy will have a lot to do to determining the amount of money you will make for it. Unfortunately, because having a level of quality is important to the code for the game to be able to list items on Plopsy, that means that items made in the fabricator will not be able to be lifted on Plopsy. I would have thought this needed to go without saying, but apparently it doesn't. You can also not list babies, children, pets, puppies, or kittens on Plopsy. Also, anything with a freshness meter will not be able to be placed on Plopsy either. So that's going to be no food, no baked goods, no fizzy juices. I know, I'm, I'm disappointed too. So now that the item's on Plopsy, there's nothing left to do but wait for a buyer. Speaking of buyers, all the buyers and sellers on Plopsy are actually faux NPCs full of made up names that are actually full of Easter eggs, which I'm excited to find out. But unfortunately, they are not people that exist within your Sims world, so you will not be able to see people wearing your creations unless you get it to them yourself. You can also browse and shop on Plopsy anytime you want. It is available through your phone and through your computer. Also, Plopsy updates every few hours. So there's always something new to find there. Let's talk about the stuff that you get in this stuff pack. You get so many 
chairs. Since a sim needs to sit to knit, your sims get so many new chairs in this pack, mainly new rocking chairs, which can be used by every member of the sim family from toddler to elder. All items in this pack were designed to have a cute and colorful granny chic feel to them. Perfect for any crafter's cave. We also get these cool new surfaces that are able to snap together and create one super big surface. Also, look at this cute new crafting clutter. Come on now. Look at these yarn bowls your cats can play with. Aren't they cute? Look at this table that just sits there and gets in the way. Check out this functional and this non-functional desk that come pre-filled with super fab clutter. Look at all these crafty cute wall accessories too, like this little modular shelving that we have on the wall. This particular little pentagon shelf actually was voted in through the voting process. Originally it was a set of three stuck together, but sim fans suggested that it be broken up into individual shelves so it would be more usable and the sim gurus listened. So baby onesies, the question on everyone's mind, What's what's with them? Basically, they are just another object that you can knit. They live in your inventory until it is time to apply them to the baby. There are many options for designs that you can knit for your baby. Once you have acquired your desired onesie, you can then select the baby and then dress the baby in that said onesie. I personally do not care at all about the baby onesie because the baby is just an object. It might as well be a tea cozy. And there you have it, buddies. Baby in onesie. In other long-awaited news, there is finally justice for cow plants, your cow plant too can finally have a name. Here we get into the cast portion of the live stream where they go over the new locking and unlocking features of the knittable clothing items. So basically if your sim wants to wear a knitted sweater, it has to be in their inventory. If they do not have it in the swatch that they wanted to wear it in, that is too bad. They can go and acquire that different color or different sweater. And what are the ways that we acquire things? By making them or buying them on Plopsy. Every handmade clothing option and the game does have a quote fail option available that is that hideous striped version that you see of things typically or just obviously not well made versions Typically, that item often comes with a negative mood lip because it will be itchy. In addition to many new clothing options that we received for Sims of all ages, we also got new hair in this pack, which I am excited to share with you again today. My favorite one being the mom hair, of course, and I can't wait to utilize that on so many Sims. We also got a super cute pair of boots that works for children and adults, as well as onesies for the toddlers. There's also exclusive beanies available for toddlers that your Sims can attempt to make. Oh look, we just got an alert that Claire the Bear would like to purchase our medium painting on Plopsy. So now we pop that painting in the mailbox and boom, pleasure doing business with you Claire the Bear. Well now buddies, I feel pretty confident that I went over everything I can remember from the live stream. If there's anything about Nifty Knitting or the live stream that you still have any questions about, feel free to ask me. I mean, you can reach me on Twitter or in the comments. I'll do my best to answer anything for you. Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out for another stream of my consciousness. Don't forget to like and subscribe while you're here today. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. I love you so much. Bye.